All right, so one of the most common exercises you're gonna see on the cable cross machine is just a double uh, chest fly, pec fly, or a chest press. So I'm gonna show you a couple differences here. So we're gonna take the cables from each side. We're gonna pull them in this way, walk out front a little bit. Now, the first one we're gonna do is just the chest press. So arms out front, set the shoulders down, chest up, set the core from here. And you're gonna lean forward a little bit into it with a split stance. So some people will do it this way. You can do it that way. It's just a little more unstable and harder to hold in position. Better for balance and stability. If you do split stance, then you, it doesn't matter which leg is forward or not, it's gonna be a little more stable because you're more braced for the weight pulling you back. So I'm gonna start out front, shoulders down, chest up, core set. And then for a chest press, we're just gonna bend the elbows back to about 90 degrees like you would with a dumbbell chest press or a bench press. And you're gonna extend all the way out. Right in this way and extend all the way out. Now the fly is with a slight bend in the elbows but that bend stays the same the whole time. So we're gonna come out to here and then back in. And you're gonna see lots of different variations on specific angles at the end. So some people say extend all the way out, some people say keep a little bend, some people say hug a barrel. There's lots of different options, but in, a, in essence a fly, his elbows staying the same bend. A press is when the elbows bend to about 90 degrees and then extend out, okay? So you're gonna see this one focuses on the chest, uh, front of the shoulders. The tendency is to start rounding your back keep that posture to make sure you get the, the most benefit from the exercise.